back and talk about the 1991 uh, Penn football team. Okay. Uh, Chris, you, you know, you kind of go through this. Uh, I mean, Elkhart Central uh, actually scores 13 points against you in their first game, 14, and yet you still beat them twice along the way. But you beat a really good Snyder team, 21 to nothing, to win the sectional. I uh, mm. flanked the Lafayette Jeff 17 to six. But ironically, in the semi-state, you played Mishawaka, and this was so odd, just the way that tournament was going. Everybody's going every which direction. Let's well, just each they went well. Right. Yeah. Let's just talk about how ironic that a trip on the line to Indianapolis between the two teams that normally play for the grocery cart. Well, uh, there's a number of unusual things uh, that happened. First of all, we had real bad rain for three days, and uh, I called down. We wanted to hire a helicopter to dry our field off because our field was a swamp. I don't know if you remember how it used mm -hmm. to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the guy said a helicopter from our just real low could dry that thing off. And I called down and asked if we could take the money out to do it. And I don't, I don't plan. How many? How many people are you expecting? They said twenty thousand. Oh my God! Yes. Go ahead and do it. So. So we got, we ended up with a pretty good field because the helicopter worked all afternoon just down there. Kids were school looking out the windows watching that thing, so we had that. And then I'll never forget, uh, we beat them 42 to nothing in the regular season. And they improved a lot. And their quarterback says, I'll guarantee you one thing, it's not going to be 42 to nothing again. You can take that to the bank. Well, we missed the extra point, it's 41 to nothing. <laughs> but uh, the thing that was, uh, talking about kids being confident, they had an all-school pep, or out, uh, uh, town pep rally at Mishawaka on Thursday night. Stands were filled, Al Smith, out there and uh, talking and I was watching on the news and he said I I know for a fact coach Dillingham called coach Giesman and they've already made plans to trade film Saturday morning <laughs> he said and I'll tell you another thing I guarantee this is true all their kids were at the mall buying their dome shoes. That was back when you had, had different shoes because everybody and said all their kids were out there buying their dome shoes this afternoon. Boop. <laughs> he said Saturday morning Dellingham's going to need a no phone number and everybody yeah I like that. <laughs> well that really upset me. And so at our pregame meeting the next night, I mean, interest is high. You can imagine how it'd be. And I said to, uh, I said, anybody watch the news last night? Yeah. I said, something really upset me. He said, as a fact, that our whole team was out there buying their dome shoes yesterday. That really upsets me that nobody said anything. I wanted to get mad. I said, did you hear what I said? He said you were out there looking past this game. You were down there buying your dome shoes last night. Does that not upset you? No. Kid says, Coach, he's right. We bought all of us got our dome shoes. He said, but don't worry, we're going to kick her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I said, oh, okay, let's, okay, uh, here's what we're going to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Move along. <coughs> All right. Uh, take, let's, let's look at the, some of the, the guys on this, on this one. Uh, first team, tight end, Greg is it Shermer. Shermeyer. Shermeyer. Yeah. Okay. Adam Kane at tackle. You all said uh, Aaron George at wide receiver. Brent Baldwin was your quarterback. Uh, defensive end Brian Reisner. Shane Nagy, defensive tackle. Corey Knight, linebacker. Uh, uh, Kevin Lemmy uh, from uh, Penn. I also want to point out that my good friend Rico Swanson was at, uh, at uh, James Whitcomb Riley at that time. Uh, Don Beck was second team. Uh, Dan Kyle. Uh, also, Jim Rotunda, 
uh, Tom Simmons, and they had some honorable mentions. Now they had uh, Brian Hardy, some kid by the name of Giesman, with the first name Tim, uh, Jason Craig, and so a lot of guys getting lots of love. I mentioned some a bunch of names there. Anybody jump off the page at you? Well, uh, all of them oh, did. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I, I don't like to really. I, when I'm telling stories, I'll separate people from telling. But I mean, those guys were all good players, and uh, I was proud. Timmy scored a touchdown against Ben Davis in the dome, which was uh, kind of exciting for me. And uh, the uh, he ran the out cut, and the Ben Davis kid uh, fell down trying. He made a Timmy ran pretty precise cuts, and the Ben Davis kid fell down. And Tim caught it and took it to the house. But uh, yeah, they were uh, they were all good players. Greg Shermeyer uh, broke his hand in the uh, regional, so we didn't have him for the last two weeks. And uh, that guy, he was uh, he was a good receiver. And we had others that, I mean, that, that didn't even get the recognition that, uh, I mean, we had Jason Ryle, who was uh, a, a big uh, 6'5", 240, good blocker. And uh, uh, we, it was, uh, we really had uh, a good team. Dennis Harper, our assistant principal, his boys, Doug, was a starter in that team. So, I mean, we had, we had some great players. That was a very special team. All right. Final. Looking at the at the the numbers in this one, I, uh, you you lose in the in the state championship game to, to Ben Davis. But when you reflect back on this team, what will Chris Giesman fondly remember the most about his first opportunity to play Coach Delahan's team? And what does uh, 1991? What stands out about 1991? Well, I mean, it was just. Uh I mean, they're a classy program, and their coaches are classy. I mean, I just, I just remember that. I mean, they're very humble, humble, uh, shaking hands after the game and great game and everything. And I remember Dickie told them that they were only ahead 17 to nothing at halftime, and they're used to being ahead like 42 to nothing. And we platooned, and they didn't. He I remember him telling the I saw the replay of the game telling the reporter he is so nervous. He said, I've never been in a game like that. <laughs> I mean seventeen to nothing. But uh, yeah, hey, they were they were great and their kids are great. And the thing every official that's ever worked at Penn uh, Ben Davis game just talks about how hard hitting but how clean the game was. It was uh, it was great.